Hey guys. Okay. So this was another question uh, video about a question that I received um, regarding denture adhesive and zinc. Um, I am not a doctor by any means. I have no medical training compared to whatever. Anyway, I am not a doctor. So this is only in my experience and from what I have read, studied, and asked doctors about. <clears throat> um, I do work in an ER, well, did work in an ER, and I will be working in an ER again come the second. Um, but I asked a few of the emergency room doctors about zinc toxicity. Um, pretty much, all in all, they said, you have to do it on purpose. It would be extremely hard um, to really, truly overdose on zinc. Um, the toxicity level is 200 to 800 milligrams per day for six months before you would really notice it. Um, the recommended levels are 50 milligrams a day. Now, if you take a multivitamin and you are eating a normal balanced diet and you way overuse um, denture adhesive, then yes, you are, you know, at risk. However, you would pretty much have to eat that stuff to get to the toxicity levels. Um, and if you're worried about it, your doctor can pull blood and find out if, um, if you are in the toxicity level, but you pretty much have to do it on purpose. Um, the, of all the doctors that I talked to in the emergency room, only one had ever seen it. And, uh, he said, really, it just seemed like the flu. Um, but this woman, um, was told that she had a deficiency, a zinc deficiency. So she was taking zinc medicine or zinc um, vitamins, um, just over the counter vitamins. She was taking a one a day. She was eating foods with a lot of zinc in them. And she was also a denture wearer. So between all of that, um, he really isn't sure if that's what her problem was. Um, but when they pull blood, um, which they typically do on just about every patient that goes into the emergency room, um, they found that her zinc levels were slightly high. Um, but he really thinks that it was really more or less the flu because zinc toxicity is far more than the flu. I mean, you get flu-like symptoms, um, abdominal pain, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, fevers, all that stuff, um, which pretty much goes with the flu, um, or some sort of viral something. Um, but it also has unexplained joint pain, um, uh, unexplained joint pain, uh, jaw pain, which you would have anyway after surgery. And for a while, I still do. Um, I had a lot of problems with TMJ when, you know, I had my natural teeth. And I still do. Sometimes I, you know, sometimes I yawn and my jaw hurts. So, you know, it, it's just things like that. It really, really doesn't scare me. And I don't even, obviously, I don't eat a well-balanced diet which I should be. Um, so I'm not getting enough zinc there. Um, I don't really take a multivitamin. I try to remember, but it pretty much never happens. So I'm not worried about it. And the little bit of denture adhesive that I do use, and sometimes more than once a day, is usually on the bottom and it's usually far less than what it tells you to use on the box. So you're pretty much safe unless you eat that stuff 
you know, or you're taking all these vitamins and you're doing all this stuff. If you're worried about it, have your doctor pull blood. It's not, you know, it's not that big of a deal. If you keep having symptoms, um, like flu-like symptoms or jaw pain or anything like that, then go have it checked out. I mean, what's the, you know, there's no, there's no, no doctor is going to tell you, well, I take that back. Few doctors will tell you that you're crazy, and nothing's wrong with you, whatever. But if you tell them, look, I'm a denture wearer and I'm worried about zinc toxicity, you know, this is, this is how much I use, this is the kind I use, things like that, they may have to look it up because not very many cases have been reported. And yes, there have been, and there's lawsuits and whatever out there, but really... You have to do it on purpose. I mean, you really have to work hard at getting overdosed in zinc. So, um, and another thing was the doctor told me as long as you're drinking enough water that it will flush it out of your system. Water flushes everything out of your system. This includes zinc. So, you really don't have to worry about it too much. Um, I know that there are some people who are very, very worried about it and they're very paranoid and things like that and or they have unexplained jaw pain and they wonder is it the adhesive you know now that um, now that I wear dentures is it the zinc and the adhesive it's probably not it's probably just you know your body saying hey something's there that didn't used to be there but it's there now and it's your denture it's it's gonna take a little while to get used to. It takes a little while to get used to eating with them. I mean, it takes a little while to get used to talking. Um, it takes a little while to not trip over your words, because I do that all the time. If I get to talking too fast, I will slur a word. And um, it reminds me real quick to slow down and pronunciate. Anyway, um, but yeah, you really have to work hard at overdosing on zinc. And it takes a while for it to build up in your system. Um, so, you know, if you're worried about it, go get it checked out. There's no harm in in going and having it checked out. And most doctors will say, okay, you know, let's pull it, let's make sure. Because they're there to make sure that your well-being is taken care of. And that you are healthy. And if you need to be under uh, a doctor's care to because you're you know worried about it or because he's worried about it or anything like that then no harm no fail um anyways i've got another video coming up i've got several to do tonight and it's uh like 10 15 so <laughs> i gotta hurry i gotta go to work tomorrow um so see you guys next time bye